your feelings? I'm sad. <laughs> Anyways, here we are. Uh, we made it to the Houston MSR Houston uh, HPDE event, uh, and we got two runs in. Caleb was able to run one, and I ran probably four laps. I think I broke it. <laughs> yeah, I broke it. I'm sure I broke it. So we're gonna see here. See what's going on. Yeah. Before we do that, what's your thoughts on the car setup, though? Gosh, for real. I mean, like this is—it's amazing how much power to weight, the suspension setup, the tires. I mean, absolutely unbelievable tire setup, and the wheels and the braking. You know, like it's just—you can push it so hard, absolutely so hard in the corners, and it may look terribly slow, like <laughs> as a viewer, but you know, it's—it's it's for real, excellent. Um, yeah. I'm I, I felt coming out of mine, the last tra car I tracked was the C6 Corvette, and I felt more comfortable throwing this in the corner than the, the Corvette. Um, just even braking and just really well balanced power, even having barely even 200 horsepower, it's freaking, it had plenty. Come out of the corner, you can get on it, you had your horsepower range. Uh, so I'm happy with the car, and definitely the power range, and then knowing that we can still shave probably a couple hundred pounds off of this damn thing because it's fully dressed, we haven't shaved any weight. Um, so I think it'll be a great platform to start off with. By so. far, by far. And that, and that all that is true. I mean, the car's got full interior, we're still kind of drive it. Uh, full spare. It, yeah, <laughs> tire and everything in here. And, yeah. and then with the driver, I just felt, it felt really comfortable actually getting into it and on it. And, you know, I wasn't nervous, so it was cool. So now let's see what Frank, but cheered up. <laughs> any of it. So what he's doing here is getting a ratchet and see if he can turn over the engine by hand. Yeah. And no. She locked up. Well, son of a. You don't have any gear, do you, though? No. It yeah. is definitely. Yep, definitely not in gear. I'll even retry it in here. You got it off there, right? Yep, same thing happened to the other one. <laughs> well, we done fucked her, boys. Time to load it on trailer and taking her a nice drive home. Maybe I can talk cable bender in that case swap now. <laughs> So 
I don't know if you can see where we're at, but oh, we're on the like, side of the road. Oh, hey, look in there. Looks like the moon's out tonight. <laughs> so, uh, what happened there, Frank? Well, we had a tensioner and alternator kind of failing at the same time. Now we're on the side of the road and nobody has any kind of respect and they just uh, fly past us. Fucking fly past us. So yes, we got a toasted alternator bearing and a, oh look at that, look at that carnage melted idler pulley. Just wonderful. So, we are, uh, what? Three hours still from home. Three hours from home. Two for two on breaking nights. We did have a guy <laughs> deliver. Oh yeah, the shout out. I, don't, I didn't get his name, but I, I made sure to give him some extra money because that was pretty awesome. Yeah. They did not have all of the parts, but he did us a solid. So we yeah. appreciate you, whoever you are in Napa, in wherever we are. BFE, <laughs> Houston, <laughs> Texas. Thank you, guy. Yeah, just south of uh, College Station, actually, the Napa guy. Awesome. Drove it straight here for him, so. I guess now we're gonna get the uh, tensioner tensioner on and uh, alternator on and get back on the road. Hopefully, maybe get some dinner. That probably sounds good. Somebody's gotta poop, so. Yeah, so. Well, and what's the, the saying that a friend of mine told me? You know what you get when you don't get what you wanted? Experience. <laughs> <laughs>